Hello and welcome to Heartrepreneur TV. I'm your co-host Phil McGallant. We are at the last show of the year and we have a very special guest for you and a very awesome topic that we're going to be covering today. So today we are talking about Soar into 24. Are you ready? And today's guest is Regina Andler. Regina has over 20 years experience as an entrepreneur, having had traditional brick and mortar businesses, online businesses, and multiple multi-level marketing businesses. So she's done it all. She is a certified Jack Canfield Success Principal Trainer and certified in whole being positive psychology. Today, she uses all of her knowledge and experience from her past and her training to help entrepreneurs avoid the mistakes she made along the way. And this is in her company, Autumn Ascent Consulting. Welcome to the show. I am so, so excited to be here and really jazzed up to be your final 2023 guest. I think it's perfect. I think it's absolutely perfect. And the topic we're covering today is really, really good. We've got just a few more days left before the New Year springs in here. And we do, I know I do, I've been doing quite a bit of planning over this last month to get ready for the new year. Let's talk a little bit, seeing as we are talking about soaring into 24, let's talk a little bit about why do we want to plan for a new year? What's the difference between planning for it or just, you know, vibing our way into it? Well, that is a really good question. And most people tend to go into the new year going, oh, yeah, I want to get this done this year and this done this year. And and they just kind of start making those resolutions. And mm. did you know that statistics say that, according to the statistics, by the second week in February, all resolutions are are gone. They're flown out the window. So, I mean, think about how many people join the gym right after the new year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, by February, they're gone. They're, they're, they're done. They, they've had enough of the gym. And they're like, what was I even thinking? They're not really into it. So when you think about planning, it's not about making resolutions. I don't make resolutions. I used to a long time ago. And if you ever made that resolution, I'm going to lose 20 pounds this year. I'm going to, or, or I'm going to get to my perfect weight this year. And every single January 1st, you're making the same exact resolution. <laughs> yeah. I have done that quite often. Yes. Yes. I, I actually, I don't, do resolutions anymore either um I've been I oh you know what I'm not going to talk about what I'm going to do I'm going to we're <laughs> going to talk about let's let's go let's go into planning what's the value in planning and and are there ways that we c could be planning better so think about that new year's resolution of losing weight right and you make mm -hmm. the same resolution over and over and over again why are you making the same resolution over and over and over again? Because you didn't actually make the plans and really set real goals. It wasn't as important to you as you thought it was. You think it's really super important, and yet you don't do it. And when it comes to business, we think, oh, 2024, I'm going to you know, rock my programs. I'm going to get uh, five new clients a month, 10 new clients a month. I'm going to get $10,000 or more consistently every single month coming into my business. And you start saying all of this stuff. And so, as, long as, you're say, as long as you're saying it, all it is is a resolution. Okay. So, so what I'm hearing is resolutions are uh, high level, just really high level things. And I, I'd hazard a guess, and I might be wrong, but I'd hazard a guess that a lot of resolutions are shoulds. Have you noticed that? Yeah. And 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 when you say that they're high level things, resolutions are just words. They're the, mm -hmm. yeah, it would be nice if, yeah. And it's, yeah, I should lose 20 pounds. I should be getting new clients every month. I should be making $10,000 or more a month. I should be doing this. You know, if you want to call it the should, it's just words. As long mm -hmm. as you say it and just say it, it's just a resolution. So call it what it is, right? When you plan, that's something different. So okay. planning, planning also includes that whole, you're writing things down. You're actually thoughtfully thinking through what it is that you want. 
you're stopping and reflecting on what worked well in this past year. What worked really good that I want to create more of? Most people, they'll go into that new year. We'll use that weight as an example because a lot of people can re relate to that. So they go into the new year going, oh, yeah, my resolution is to lose 20 pounds this year. And then they say, this year, you know, I'm actually going to plan. I'm going to make it a goal. Well, why didn't it work last year? It didn't work last year mm -hmm. because you didn't plan and really step into it as a goal. And the first thing that you do is you say, well, you know, I make that same resolution every year. So I don't even know why I bother making that resolution anymore. Okay. And people do the same thing with their business goals. They're like, you know what? Every year I keep saying, I'm going to hit six figures this year. And you still haven't hit six figures. Why? Because you keep saying that you're going to do this. Stop saying that you're going to do things and actually start putting some meat behind it. Start planning what you're doing. Look at what was working well last year that gave you. How'd you get your last client? How did you do with your last program that you ran or service that you performed? How did you do and what worked well from that? Think back on what that is and start planning to create more of that. Okay. Okay. So, so what you're saying is, is, is when we get started, we might get that resolution or that goal, which is high level a bunch of words. What I'm hearing is it's really important to take the time to reflect on what worked and what didn't work and, and start. Start with that. So if, if it is a goal that you've made over and over again, where did you where were the hiccups last year? What worked last year? Um, what if we're what if it's not what if it's not a goal that we have or a or a resolution that we have ever stated before? Then Do that's we, great. And we pull the same kind of strategy in there. Yeah, th that's absolutely great because you don't have anything to base it on. You don't have anything to base shoulds on. So you don't have anything to say, well, it didn't work because of this. It didn't work because of that. I tend to talk to, when I, especially when I'm speaking with my clients, we don't look at what happened in the past that was bad. We only focus on what was good because you know the bad stuff, we know, we know what didn't work. I don't need to spend time and energy thinking about what didn't work. It's great to learn the lesson, learn the lesson and mm. move on, right? And make sure most of your energy is what worked well and how do I create more of that? So when you say like the resolution, so a resolution, it's not, it's not necessarily a bad thing. The resolution is the words and that's where it starts, right? You, you start by going, I'm going to make a commitment in 2024 to get five new clients every month. Those are just words. Mm -hmm. Planning for that and creating that is now you start thinking, how, the, how is that actually going to happen? How did I do that last year? How did I get my last five clients? If you don't have any clients yet, what steps do you need to take to go get that first client? What do you need to put I, in place? What do you need to do differently? So, so I'm hearing, I'm hearing a few things there and um, I'm about 90% in. <laughs> I'm about 90% in because one of the things that you said there is we don't focus on what didn't work last year. And I agree and I disagree. And, and here's here's why I'm landing on the fence it is because I think it is important in that reflection to take the time to look at those things, not hang out on those things, but to look at those things and Re remember what the lesson was behind it. Or if we haven't picked out the lesson yet, go looking for the lesson that that what didn't work is is a tool. It's not a it's a tool for moving forward. It's not a tool to beat yourself up. So I kind of agree and I kind of disagree on that. Um, what do you think of that? Let's I play think that's there. a very valid point. And it's a very valid point because you want to reflect on the lessons learned. Mm -hmm. But what I'm really pushing more of is don't sit in that negative. Don't right. so learn the lesson. 
Don't go mm -hmm. live there. Don't go relive whatever it was that didn't work. Don't go relive the drama. You know, people spend a lot of time in life just being miserable because they just decide to sit and wallow in their drama. Everything that's going wrong is going wrong. Well, energy, energy, it's that, you know, it's neither created or destroyed. It just changes form, right? Right. And everything is energy. All of your thoughts are energy and you attract the energy that you are emitting. So if you are focusing on all the bad stuff, without a plan to move to the good stuff. So meaning you're not learning the lesson, right? You're mm -hmm. actually creating more bad stuff. So people who live in their drama, they just create more drama. You know, those people that, you know, oh, I've, I've been in like five car accidents. Well, have you been in five? How did you attract five car accidents? Well, I just always get into accidents. It, well, yeah, great. You, you just attracted it. You just told yourself, you know, I can never get more clients. I, I don't understand it. I can never get more than, you know, a couple clients a month. My goal for 2024 is to get five clients minimum a month. I've never got, I never get any more than three a month though. Cause that's okay. What you, you reflect okay. on that. That's what you're going to get stuck in. And that's what I'm okay. saying. So don't get stuck in that. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, Cause I think, I think, I think we're saying the same thing. We're just using a little bit different language. And so what I heard with what you shared there is um, when, when you're looking at what didn't work last year make sure that you're make sure you're at the back of the movie the back of the movie theater and not right up front <laughs> it, it, it's kind of like focus on the good that came out of the negative because mm -hmm. the good is the lesson right the right is, absolutely this is, yeah this is what didn't work so i'm not going to do that anymore i'm right do something different because so that didn't work. So I'm going to do something different and see if that works. Right, right, right. So being aware, don't do that anymore. What do they get out of that? How can I tweak and shift from there? Is is there a portion of that that worked? Or um, what would be just a little bit farther to, you know, closer to my goal? Blah, blah, blah. So blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay. So, so I'm hearing, I'm hearing we're, we're saying the same thing. We're just making sure that we're not playing in the mud anymore. We're just looking at the mud puddle. Great analogy. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah. And, and then, you know, it's like you reflect. So you reflect on that stuff, focusing mm -hmm. on the good, even the good and the negative. Remember the lessons learned. Right. And then, you start thinking, okay, 2024 is coming up. At the end of 2024, what do I want that to look, with, look like? It's that Stephen Covey begin with the end in mind, right? Mm -hmm. it's stop and you say, at the end of 2024, where do I want to be? I want to make X amount of money. I want to have X amount of clients. I want to have whatever it is. Define what that is. Look at what at the end of the year, what the goal is, the big goal, the big, 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 big picture mm -hmm. goal, right? And then start breaking that down. It's like, okay, as you start breaking that down, you'll you'll realize really quick, is that goal too big? You know, so if you're just starting out and you mm -hmm. say, Well, I want to make a million dollars and have this and have that, and this there's not there's people who have actually done that very dedicated in very certain areas and stuff like that. So it all depends on who you are and what you're doing, right? So can you do that? I don't know. It depends on the person. You'll find out really quickly as you start working backwards, is this goal actually attainable? So this is my big picture goal. That big picture goal is going to break down into a bunch of little goals. So now you take that big picture goal. Here's what I want at the end of the year. Break it down into the months. You could even break it down okay. to, to start with first and then break it down in the months. So when it comes to planning, it's like, okay, I want five or more new clients every month. Okay, well, how do you get your clients? Do you even know who your clients are? One of the things that I do, at, total, total aside here from my, from my list of things to do, right? Um, one of the things I do every single year without fail is the last week of the month, I love this week. It's when I like reset everything. I stop and I look, am I still working with the right client? base? Am I still, is my ideal client still the ideal client that I thought my ideal client was? Or is it, has it shifted? Because things change, right? So mm -hmm. I review everything. Are my programs and services still the right programs and services for my audience? 
Do I need to find a new audience? What, where, where am I going? Because that in turn helps me figure out, okay, well then my goals at the end of the year, if I want new clients, I need to know who I'm talking to. So I need to know who that person is that I'm going to be, you know, writing marketing content for, reaching out to, creating the programs for. I need to know who they look like. So my first piece of planning is to make sure, first off, I'm still talking to the same person. Right. Right. And that and that can be part of that reflection process. Like, did I enjoy working with the people that I worked with? Mm -hmm. Was I creating value for them? Was I able to connect to them? And if, if yes, then how do I build on that? If no, how do I shift from that? Exactly. Exactly. And then you have that goal for the end of the year. So what is your goal for 2024? What is the end goal? So at the end of 2024, where do you want to be? And now start working backwards and say, okay, well, how do I get there? What mm -hmm. are the steps that I need to get there? And you start, you just start working backwards. A lot of people think that planning for a year is such a daunting, overwhelming experience. And it doesn't need to be. It's literally just reflect on the previous year. Think about what you want the end of this new year to look like. And then basically start piecing it out. Have you ever done like a thousand piece puzzle? Yes. So you look at the box, the puzzle comes in, right? And the picture mm -hmm. of the puzzle is on the cover. So that is your reflection. I know what it's supposed to look like. And it's also your goal. So I, you, you know where it, you know where it's going. And then and then what do you do? You take the cover off and you flip the thing over and you pull out all the pieces. Now there's pieces all over the place. Yeah, that's what your that's what your end goal looks like when you first look at it. And that's why people find it so um, overwhelming when they first go, wow, that's a lot planning for a whole year. There's a lot of stuff. There's marketing, there's financial stuff, there's stuff. How am I going to get my clients? What am I going to use for tools? There's all kinds of things that all of a sudden start popping into your head of I need all this stuff. And all of a sudden you literally build up your own anxiety into it. Mm -hmm. Cause now you yeah. see these thousand pieces sitting on the table. Well, what's the first thing you do? You turn them all over. You make sure they're all face up. And, and, I, yeah, you know, that's right. That you do. I get my outside pieces. That's what we're doing. You're getting your outside pieces and then you start filling it in. Cause once you have those outside pieces, you know, now you can go pick, okay, well, over here, you know, it's a landscape and over here, there's some trees. So over in this corner are all the green ones. So I'm going to separate my green ones out. And over here are some brown ones. Oh, there's a lake in there. Here's all the blue ones for the lake. And you start separating them out. All of a sudden, it doesn't seem so daunting anymore because now you've got it. It's like, okay, now I just have to put it together. I love, I love that analogy of the puzzle. I know that I have in the past been somebody that gets quite overwhelmed by uh, I used to say that I'm I'm good with strategy to a certain point, right? And I and I believe that that where that came from was that I had I had an easy time of looking at the, the puzzle of the box, and I could pick out the outside, and that was that was where my skill set ended. And I think that's what I, when I, once I realized that it wasn't that I can't, it was just simply a matter of growing some skill sets. Then it felt just a little bit less overwhelming. And then it was, and it also supported me with, well, start, start with what you know, <laughs> and then I can build on that and I can learn what I need for the rest of it. Because I think too, what i'm what i'm hearing if i if i fit this into your analogy is that one of the corners one of those sections of the puzzle is could be uh skill growth right mm -hmm. and part of my strategy is growing the skills for whatever it is that i need to get done that's part of the strategy instead of it being my uh my stopping point it becomes part of the strategy Exactly. So when you think about the puzzle, you've got that whole outline, you get the whole frame set up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you've got the picture on the box. The picture on the box is the, 
oh, my December 31st, that, that's my goal is to have that. And mm-hmm. I, have, I have this frame. Okay, great. And now I have all of these pieces. What do I do with all of these pieces all over the place? You start sorting them out. What do I need? I need maybe a support team. Maybe I need some accountability. Maybe I need a coach. Maybe I need somebody to help me with my bookkeeping. Maybe I need some new skills. Maybe I need somebody to help me create a program. Maybe I need somebody to help me with my social media marketing. Whatever mm-hmm. it is, you decide what it is. How do you get to that end goal? It's That's why I say work backwards from the end goal. You, you can fill in really quickly what you have. You look at that end goal and go, here's all the stuff that worked really well this past year. Okay, I got that. I'm going to implement that again because I know it works. Mm -hmm. The delta, what is missing? What are the pieces that are missing? That's where your planning comes in. Okay, what am I going to do about that? Who am I going to reach out to? Where am I going to find my support team if I need a support team? Do I need a VA? You know, there's all these different things out there that when you start planning, all you need to do is stop, stop and think. And that's, all, you know, the puzzle. It's all those pieces, right? So mm-hmm. it's the, oh, over here, it's like, yeah, I need a support team. Over here, I need this stuff over here. I need this stuff over here. And you just start putting it all together. And before you know it, your puzzle is put together. And now you have all the pieces and everything all set to create success, create the, and reach the goal that you wanted to want to reach at the end of the year. Okay. 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 So what, what I heard was that, you know, big picture, the box for the puzzle, we do the outside and then we start sorting into the different areas, like the different colors or whatever else. So the different areas with social media, this, 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 we get it all sorted And then from there, it's the implementation, putting the pieces into the puzzle so that we start adding some real physicality to that puzzle instead of it just being the box. Exactly. So your plan is you've got the frame Mm -hmm. and you've got a bunch of pieces over here, 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 you know, however many pieces you've got. Your year, the plan is, okay, I'm going to work on this section first. Now I'm going to work on this section. You plan out. Well, how do you need to put that together now? What do you need to put together? Do you need to work on multiple sections at one time? Right, and, right. You know, what, what do you need to do? And for everybody, it's going to be different depending on what their business is, where they're going, what their goals are. It changes pretty much depending on where you're at right now. If you're brand new to business, there's a lot of pieces to put together. Mm-hmm. If you're existing in business, it's like you're more focused and on a specific, probably targeted goal on a, you know, an income goal or a number of clients goal or something like that, because you're already established. So it depends on where you are. So for everybody, it's going to be a little bit different. However, it's the same process. Okay. Okay. So we've, we've talked about We've talked about the reflection. We've talked about starting with the end in mind um, and working backwards from that. You actually had these. Mm -hmm. I think we've talked about quite a bit. If we were to summarize what, what we've just talked about and put it into point form, what would you say that is? Yep. So it's, it's stop and reflect. So what worked good the previous year learn the lessons, take the good from the stuff that didn't work quite right. Mm -hmm. So we, 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 in in my world, we don't say what went wrong. We just say what didn't work quite right. (laughs) Right. And that, and I like that. I like that a lot. Feels just a little better. Yep. And what did I learn from that? So what did I learn not to do? What did I learn to do? Mm -hmm. So you can, you know, from, from something that didn't work, that gives you more information on what to do. So you move forward from there. So that's number one is to, you know, reflect and figure out what are the, what, what pieces am I starting with? Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the next piece is to actually start planning using, and I always go back to that Stephen Covey quote of start with the end in mind. So at the end of 2024, at the end of any year, where do you want to be? What are Mm -hmm. your goals for the year? 
where what do you want want it to look like visualize it it's it's one of those things that you do that you start it by thinking about it and visualizing where do you want to be so if you're thinking about december 31st 2024 where do you want to be sitting what do you want to be doing how do you want your business to look what do you want your bank account to look like how do you want mm -hmm. your clients to be feeling what what does that whole thing look like to you so then you start with the end in mind, you start planning that. You go, okay, that's what I want it to look like. Now you break it down into the smaller pieces. So that's all those little, those little sections. We're gonna take all those little pieces and we're gonna break it down to the smaller pieces and we're gonna start planning out, okay, how do we step into that? So now you can start planning your monthly goals, your weekly goals. You know exactly what you need to do to get you to where you want to be, you just start breaking it down into those smaller pieces. Okay. And because I chose the puzzle analogy, there is the the the, the fourth the fourth piece of the puzzle, we'll say, <laughs> which mm -hmm. is <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, so so you have that puzzle, it's sitting on the table, and and maybe maybe you're like me, and you happen to have a cat, and you know the cat jumps on the table and you know, knocks the whole thing off. <laughs> it happens. Number four, mm -hmm. be prepared for the plan to change. Goals shift. The things that you need shift. The world shifts. The environment shifts. The economy shifts. All of a sudden, you could get partway into the year and find out, well, I didn't see that coming. And all of a sudden, instead of, instead of sitting in that going, now what do I do? I didn't see that coming. Be prepared to change. Be prepared for somebody to knock your puzzle around and knock the pieces out of order and have you have to go back and go, all right, we're going to have to replan some of this because planning is not something you just do at the beginning of the year. Planning is something that goes on every single day. Every single day you're going, is this still working? Is what I'm doing still working? Am I meeting my goals? You know, that's where, you know, when it comes to the physicalities of like, you know, the pieces that you're doing, like social media and stuff like that, you're looking at the analytics and stuff like that. You can see what's working, what's not working. And okay. you shift if you need to, based on what you see is working. So be prepared to change the plan. Okay. So reflect, stop and reflect, start with the end in mind, break it down and allow the shifts to happen. Prepare for change. Yep. Be, be, be prepared, prepared for, change. for change. Yep. Okay. Okay. So I heard something in this. Now, when you're talking about starting with the end of the end in mind and then working backwards, and you had said that we could break it down into, um, say, for example, quarters and then break the quarters down into months. It occurs to me that we have the opportunity, and I think that's part of that prepare for a change. We have the opportunity in each quarter to do this again, reflect, start with the end in mind. So reflect on the last quarter, start with the end in mind. What do we want to achieve in this quarter? Break it down for this quarter and then be prepared for some changes to that plan, which my mom used to tease me about being a planner because I would, I would plan everything. Um, and, and years out, I would be planning, Oh, I'm, I'm going to be, or I'm going to do or whatever. And she used to tease me about that because it was like, but I knew, and I knew, and I knew that my plans could change. I was allowed to change my plans. And I think that's the really go figure. Yeah. And, and and that's what I'm hearing and prepare for change. Permit change. Allow it. It, mm -hmm. it just because you planned this doesn't mean that, you know, it's it's set in stone. Exactly. I, I it's, it's kind of like the sand. I can I can dust away a little bit and redraw what I need to do if that's if that's what I choose to do. So I really like this because it's not just for starting our year. We can be using the same strategy in each little section of that year, whether it be quarters, so we can even break it down even more. Okay. So we've got this for a quarter plan. What are we going to do in our month? 
and that kind of thing. So I really, we're, we're just, we are almost at the end of our time, but I really want to have an opportunity um, to ask you, because we've been talking about applying this in a business and there's a very specific reason for that. And that's because that's what you support people with is their business planning and their business actions. So one of the biggest things that we are in business for, and people will argue with us every single time, is we are in the business of marketing. Yes, I support women to build their joy for their lives. Absolutely. And I'm in the business of marketing that because I don't get clients if I'm not marketing. Let's talk just a few seconds about marketing because I want to make sure that people are clear on how it is that you support them with this business planning. Yeah. So if you have a business, you are always marketing. You are a lead magnet. So we talk about lead magnets being like these things mm -hmm. and guides and stuff like that. Anything that comes out of your mouth, you're talking to somebody, it's it's to attract them to your business. It's, if you're writing a post on Facebook, if you're writing something out on Instagram, you're, Instagram, you're creating a reel, you're doing a webinar, you're doing a masterclass, whatever it is that you're doing, it's all leading people to whatever it is that you do to bring in new clients. It's all marketing. That's all. If, if you're a business owner, love it or hate it, you are a marketer. And- okay. Yeah. So, so, so what I've done is because I did a masterclass back in December, actually earlier this month now, we'll, we'll just call it earlier this month. It's still December. <laughs> I, I listened to what everybody was saying. And the biggest thing that they were saying is I have no idea how to plan all this stuff out in 2024 for all of this marketing stuff. How do I do that? I'm it's mind blown, overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. And so I literally created a program that starts next week that is called Soar in 24. It's a done with you marketing content boot camp. Ah, okay. Okay. So, so what, what I'm hearing is, is, is it's, you're, you're helping us with planning our 24 with respect to our marketing so that we can actually succeed in whatever it is that end in mind might be for me inside of my business. Is that right? Exactly right. Every single one of those things that we just talked about, the four things with the with reflect and figure out where you're going. I only have 10 spots that are available and, and, and some of them are already filled up. So um, what we're doing is we're literally going through, I'm walking everybody through step by step by step through all of that so that they have somebody who's going, okay, so here's where you want to be. Okay, let's work backwards. I'm going to help you. It's a done with you program so that you know exactly what you need to do. And by the time you're done the marketing boot camp, you literally have the entire year planned out with that caveat of here's what's going to happen if things change. So that when something does change, you go, oh my gosh, what do I do? I'm not on the plan anymore. What happens? You won't have that worry because you're actually planning for that as well. Okay. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. And I can see where your, not only your actual business experience has been married with the training that you've had with with Jack and with the positive psychology and everything like that, because it is bringing mindset to it. It's kind of like, um, it's, it is bringing mindset to the marketing plan so that I feel good about the marketing plan that I'm taking action on instead of it running me. I'm running it. It's not running me. <laughs> One of those little secrets about marketing that nobody ever talks about. Marketing is psychology. It's all oh. about, it's all about psychology. That makes it's sense. All, that all about attracting them, attracting your ideal client to whatever it is that you want them to engage with. It's all psychology. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, we've gone way over. And so I want to make sure that uh, the people who are watching this have the opportunity 
to connect with you about this. So create more in 24. Um, if you're looking to build your strategy for your 19, oh my gosh, I'm so old, 2024. <laughs> This is not 1924. This is 2024. <laughs> I'm not that old. Um, for your 2024, for your business success, then you want to get in on this. Create more in 24. You'll get your done with you marketing strategy so that you can not only have it ready, you actually know how to implement it. So thanks, Regina. Really appreciated your time with me. I know we went on uh, quite a few adventures with this conversation, and Absolutely. there was a huge amount of value in here. Okay, I, I think we might have uh, lost Regina. I think we had a bit of a delay there, so yeah, I am going to I'm going to shut this down. Thank you, everyone, for coming and joining us oh, no, here on her? Heartpreneur TV. We come on over to Heartpreneurs with Terry Levine tell. on Facebook, and we will see you next year. Thanks so much for coming and have an absolutely brilliant day.